All right, what's going on everybody? Gaby Card Stacks here. Got five packages in the mail today. Most of them from eBay. I'm gonna show you everything I've been picking up, why I'm buying it, how much I'm paying for it, and what my plan is with these cards. So let's uh, get right into it. First up, um, dude, okay, this is the fourth time that I've seen this type of like hobby armor. Is this something new? I don't know, but um, I've got like three sets of these now, and I'm kind of curious. And this is a sick one. Quinn Ewers Leaf Patch to 99. So um, looks to be some sort of a number in the patch. I, I don't remember how much I got this for. I think $40. I think I saw it listed at 60 and just sent out an offer. And there's some going at auctions right now, or, or I think Buy It Now is going well above. I don't know if this is a new product. Um, I've just kind of started seeing this, Spencer Rattler and a few other guys that I've been looking into. So kind of curious to know uh, more about this product. It says 2022, but you just don't see these come up a whole lot. So uh, just prospecting for the season. Quinn Ewers has a lot of hype, could be a first rounder. Some people, you know, say that's a little bit too high, but just in a Steve Sarkeesian offense, all the receivers they have, I think they should win the Big 12. You know, he was the number one quarterback prospect a few years ago. And went to signed with Ohio State, transferred down to Texas. So, who knows? I know there's a lot of hype, and of course, people uh, want to see Arch Manning, but it seems like he's just not quite there yet. So it's Quinn Ewers. Um, you know, hopefully for the whole season. Hopefully he doesn't struggle. Um, I've got some decent money in on Ewers, um, just to, again for prospecting sake. All right, got this card. Dallas Turner, Bowman University, just a base auto here. I think I got this for like six bucks, and I only bought that because I had, um, someone sent an offer for, I have two copies. I think this is now my third. Uh, someone sent an offer for $13 on, uh, on one of mine, and I went to go check. Anytime someone sends me an offer, I'll go see, you know, what's the cheapest available, and, and that, you know, sometimes leads me to new purchases. So I saw this one was available for six bucks. So I purchased this at six, accepted that other offer. I don't know if it's, you know, a promoted listing or what the case is. You know, of course, you know, good pictures, good reviews, all of that play into a factor for somebody, you know, buying one card versus another, but decided to pick this up. So anytime I can sell one card, for more than what's readily available and there's good enough margins. Dallas Turner's a guy I believe in. I'm gonna buy that probably 10 times out of 10. Next, a plain white envelope here. Uh, okay, Mason Smith, nice. So this is a uh, lava refractor. I've been buying a ton of Mason Smith lately, a guy I really believe in for next year. This is number to 100, 59 of 100. This, I don't think had any tracking for the longest time. So I was kind of getting nervous. It just said, you know, shipping label provided um, with no updates. So glad this finally came in. I wonder why it didn't get scanned. You know what, probably this person taped like the entire thing up. So it probably just wasn't able to get scanned. Um, it just had tape all over it, just completely sealed. It was kind of a, a mess to open up. So got that, I think for like three bucks, that one was super cheap and uh, super glad that I got that. I'm just stocking up on anything Mason Smith. Um, this is from uh, Keller Keller Cards, Keller's Cards on Instagram. Um, picked up these two. Hopefully this doesn't uh, slide out there. I don't remember how much I paid for these. Um, I wanna say this was like 10 to 12 bucks. I'll have to go back through our messages, but Drake London, Orange Ice, I love that. The Fanatics exclusive, somewhat short printed, I would say. And then a Jalen Waddle, Red Ice. I think the Red Ice can probably do 15 to 20. Same with the Drake London. So I don't remember how much I paid for. I can't imagine paying more than like 15 for this, hopefully, I don't know. But I think one card kind of pays for the other, um, whatever, whenever that sells. And then the other card will be pure profit. So um, nice pickup there. I've done like two deals with him in the last two weeks. So. Um, definitely a, a good seller that I like. And then last one, um, this was eBay standard envelope, but shipped in a bubble mailer. So kind of interesting, um, card almost fell out. But uh, yeah, some people are saying, some people are having issues with eBay standard envelope and they're saying that postage is due or their post, their, uh, post office is rejecting it. I've received some pretty thick, I mean, this came in a, in a plain white envelope, this came in a plain white envelope, so. I don't know, I've, I've received some pretty thick envelopes and, and never had an issue with my post office. 
Um, so Caleb Williams Refractor. This was, uh, I think, you know, maybe 10, 11 bucks. Just been picking up Caleb. I think his prices are going to rise, um, you know, as we get closer to the season and, and as he makes kind of a Heisman run, hopefully number one pick next year. So a guy that I'm definitely willing to hold. His stuff is super expensive, but I think his refractors are relatively affordable at, you know, 10 to 12, $15 on the higher end. But even like the purple shimmers, those go for like 40. It's just this numbered stuff can go upwards of 50. So I'm fine just buying into the, the refractors. You know, sometimes I, I go back and forth, you know, would I rather have, you know, 10 refractors or one nice numbered card, you know, personal preference, I guess. Um, you know, most cases, I think now just with how much volume I have, I want to save time. I'd rather move one card over 10, but I like the upside in the refractors. If I can buy these for 10, you know, even even at $20 standard envelope, you're still making probably five, six bucks a card after fees and shipping. You know, I think this will probably end up being around a $25 card, um, you know, depending on, on when you sell it and, and when the timing comes up, you know, there's plenty of opportunity with non-conference, you know, midpoint uh, college football playoff hype if they ever get in the top four, you know, the actual uh, Pac-12 championship game, bowl season, NFL draft. So, so much opportunity for um, Bowman University, I think, and, and Caleb Williams. So that's everything for my mail day. Pretty quick here, but just wanted to, to show everything that I've been buying. A lot of college stuff. Four college cards, two pro, two cracked ice, and uh, just some college stuff. I really love the Ewers. I think this this could easily be like a $100 card. I think I really got this for a great price. Um, you know, this, when I'll move it, I don't know. I'll probably just list it and... You know, I'll have to look at their non-conference to see what's going on, if they've got a big game. But I think they're going to win the Big 12 pretty easily. I think, um, you know, draft time, I think he could get some buzz. He That shoulder injury, he injured his shoulder against Bama. I think it was his shoulder. So, you know, he could get hurt. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be scared to list it and sell it if it does. But something I wouldn't mind holding. Dallas Turner, I'll probably be holding till the draft. Mason Smith, draft. This could probably sell any time and I'll probably flip these you know just before the NFL season so that's kind of my exit strategy on all those so uh, if you enjoyed this video drop a like leave a comment if you enjoy uh, the mail videos let me know and I'll you know keep buying and, and filming all all of these um, but yeah appreciate everybody and all your support and we'll see you in the next video